Hello, welcome back. Right, I've... Remember, if you've been watching, I bought this today. Uh, well, it come today. So I'm going to put it to um, my slash. Um, she would have been up to why I've had hold of it. Um, as you noticed, still got the famous lights in the pole fitted, which I'm still made up for. And I've now rigged. I can just get the bloody buttons away. I've now rigged the lights on. And there you go, as you can see them now. They look quite the part, don't they? And I've also got the backlights done as well. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. And if I turn that off, you can get a better look at it. Um, I actually used two old mini fog lamps that I had off an old Tamiya. And I cut them off and drilled them and well, I'm going to take it off now anyway, so you're going to get to see what I'm on about. Um, I am eventually going to go brushless. I said I go brushless, I am going to go brushless. Um, but at the moment, money's a bit tight. You know, I've got no money coming in just yet because of bills and that. But as you can see, I've rigged the GST there. Is it comes off. Um, if you can see that, I've actually used heavy hot glue, which is the heavy juicy stuff. Um, rig this mad, this mad like like nylon tape. Okay, yeah, I've put the bloody switch there and it might get wet and it might burn out, but it's only for temporary until I rig it up to the LiPo, which will eventually go on one of these um, and start itself off with a switch. Um, if you look just carefully in there, you can see them there. You see it? There they are. Old, oh, about 19, they're about 15 years old then. They were mine. What I did, I glued them in and, you know, they fit really well and Paul made sure that he left them blank, so, yeah, that's the shafts for the shell. Not much change to the, the, the bug, just got a symbol on there, which is a band them into, 13, energy rock, you know, just give it that bug look. But that's not what we're on about today. Today... I am going to be fitting a Tamiya female to the XL5, which as you can see there. See so uh, easily I'm going to put this now onto it, which is, oh shit, um, it's as simple as ABC. Now I bet that just to give it the look, but this is all going this radio gear, I'm going digital with it, so this is just temporary. Um, me and my <laughs> stupid ideas, but it was just for testing to get a moving. Um, an old Tommy, look at that. There you go, if you look at that now, I'm going to put this into that. Right. All you do, you get hold of it like that. That's it. There's no brain work to be done on it, but I'll put that back in there now. Let's get the remote. Alright, collecting these bloody trigger guns. Um, right. I'll turn her on. It's only got a 2400 battery, so it's not really that quick. But I feel like a stink when I've done it, but you know. So, you know, 2400 and I am um, standard battery for now until it goes lipo, but it's just a quick video to show you what I'm doing. Um, I would have took it out today, but we really got torrential weather and I don't fancy getting the electric soaked, even though they are quite waterproof. Um, also, I've ordered 
the new sway arms. I've got alloy ones coming, alloy posts, um, new shock absorbers, and a friend of mine just come back from working in Australia and he's making me a one off shell chassis. He can make it because he can take the actual chassis off here, stick it in a machine, it moulds it, takes it over to the computer and cuts it on the CNC machine. So I'll be the first one to have an iron dyed chassis which is um, also backed with carbon fibre so that'll be something to keep your eye on but I've got half the alloys thanks to Paul um, as you can see it's all working alright um, did have issues with the steering but after a bit of tweaking you know I'm actually quite made of it now you know I'm not exactly a professional like RC medics but you know you know, literally, um, just a bit of trim work. Um, yeah, um, and so all my new my old people have subbed me and I've subbed them back, you know. Hello, and hope you like what I've got going on, and I'll, you know, check my other videos out. But, oh, she's gorgeous. I'm going to put the shower back on, but I'll end up taking it out of the west, and I don't want to do that because I've only got a temporary box on there. But, yeah. There you go, just a quick one to show you the new connection I got, which cost me £4 from, wait a minute, that's exactly how much it cost. It cost me... £1.25. Came to with everything with Grand Solar, came to £2.19. So there you go, that's from Blacksmith Products, which is an RC model in the UK. Um, I'll put the link down below in my, you know, book, yeah. Well, it won't be long now before she's lipo and she will be going like a beast. But yeah, otherwise... I'm going to give this battery a good charge now on my, um... Mystery. Jeez. Roof. Yeah, so if you enjoyed that, I did. I enjoyed making it as much as you enjoy watching it. So there you go. Um, Slash is getting a load of upgrades, but I don't think I'll have the chassis till summertime because um, I've got to learn how to strip it down and build it. So that'll be interesting. And also, I've ordered an aluminium gearbox for it. This is going to look amazing on it because I'm going alloy with everything. And the company that have found GPM, they seem to have everything I need at a cheap price. I did the, as you can tell, I did the shock absorbers the other day. I refilled them with gauge tens, which is give it a bit more easiness. But I'm now working on an idea. I'll go and get one. Get one now while you're watching. I also, um, I found a lot of information out on this car as well, so these are from a HPI Savage, I believe, or something stupid like that, and they're going to be, I'm going to try that right now on here, so you're going to be the first ones to see if it works. Right then, let's take that off. Um... So notice these are HPI salts. So as Paul ran off with everything else. Um, yeah. I'll put this on roughly, I know it's not the right size, so don't be going, is that the right one? I'm not interested, it's just a test. Right then. Got some new wheel nuts coming for it. And if you're a big fan of M3, don't worry, she's getting well looked after her. Nice bitch. Um, see if you can get it. There you go. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I think they looks alright. Let's have a look. Yeah. The only thing I don't like, somebody's used this white glue shit, and I don't know how to get that off. It's, it's annoying, but. Yeah, it, it seems to look alright. Gives it that little bit more height. 
Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video with it on and with them off, and then you can make up your own mind. But um, I don't know what to say, really. I, I, I guess you could put them on the back, but no, 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 no. But also, when I was working, I've got my nitro here, which is now sold, but some of the bits aren't. I found these. Hmm. I don't know what bloody make they are, but they were pro lines. The two wheel, two wheel drive, I'm keeping them. So if anybody wants them. I'll take a five or four and plus postage, seven pound of yours, so just inbox me for that one. But um, I was looking, where is it? So I've got a new tyre there, Oof, horrible nitro fuel. And the reason why I've gone off nitro is I found out it's cancerous and I don't want, my family don't want me to keep it that, you know, there. Yeah, didn't put the inserts in, but self is, you know, what you can see is self-explanatory. Um, I was going to put them on there, but as you can tell, they're not that big, and they look quite crap. So put them back over there. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I do like them tyres, actually. I think I might put them on now and do another video up link later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'm going to have a cup of coffee. And seeing as RC Blaze 007, he says he lives in Canada. Lucky bastard. Um, I'm having a Mars bar. Yes. And they cost twice as much where you live. Ha 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 ha. Right then, I'm going to have a cup of coffee and get everything done. But thank you for watching. And to all my new subbers, I'll do. And see you soon. Peace.